Hey everyone, how you doing? Um, going to do another short YouTube video on um, one of the projects that I'm working on. That's um, for my teas that are in the small critter keepers. Uh, as you can see, this is my Panama Red Rum. And towards to the back, there is a small plant. Sorry about the shaking. Um, managing the camera and talking. Small plant and a small piece of bark. Um, gives it a neat little look, not necessary, but um, I read up that these red rums like to burrow sometimes or hide in a hide, so I just put a little piece of bark back there that I had. Uh, let me see if I get without glare. Uh, right there, probably better. And put the plant behind it, give it a nice little look. Earlier I saw her climbing up there on the plant, um, which was pretty cool. And now she's up front over here. I wanted to show how I make those plants uh, because if you go to certain pet stores, um, they can get pretty expensive. You can get a small plant and you're looking at spending $5.99 to $7.99. Also for the little hides, um, you can get a hide below $5.99 for the small ones. So what I did was basically I have some real wood bark that I got from a friend's property. Um, some of these pieces are really neat. As you can see, um, they're going to sit in there and they're going to have a little angle so that the teas can climb under there for the burrowing species or those that like to hide. Uh, this one's pretty neat too. has a good opening. All these pieces, I washed them down and I did bake them for, three, for about 10 minutes at 350 in the oven. Just be careful to watch them so they don't burst on fire. Um, then I upped it to 400 for like the last five minutes or so, so total 15 minutes. And I actually did see a lot of termites come out of these. They were fried, but there was termites in these prior to baking them. So I did that because of where I got them and um, just to kind of um, clean them up a little bit and that way there's no parasites or anything on there you can get on your tea. So you can basically find these at any park or any place where there's a lot of trees and open land. Next is the plant. Um, these, like I said, you know, you could go to, to a pet store and you pay for like a little bundle like this, sitting on a rock, like that, sitting on a rock about five ninety nine, seven ninety nine, dollars depending what brand it is. Um, what I did with these was basically I got a strand they sell them in strands like this. This is wrapped up, but it's actually a five foot strand at the dollar store. And the strands is just a long strand with um, kind of like a vine with the plants. And then what I did was I just cut with scissors right along the beginning of each one, like right there. And it gave me my little mini pieces so then I would just take a few of these, uh, normally three, and kind of just work them together in the best to make it look the way I wanted to. And then this one here has three. Arranged it the way I wanted it. Took hot glue and just hot glued the stems together so that the plant was together. And they look really neat. So you could put this behind a little bark hide and a small critter keeper and it gives it a little neat appearance. Uh, just preference. Cheap. Out of the um, $1 strand, I'm probably going to end up making about, gosh, about six or seven of these. So for one buck, six or seven, as opposed to going to a pet store and spending about six to eight dollars a piece. Just always got to look for ways to save money, especially once you start getting into the hobby and collecting more teas and scorpions and you end up having a whole bunch of enclosures. It helps to save a little bit. So the bark, just anywhere where there's trees, you can find pieces like that. Just got kind of look, look around for them. The plants, I got them from a local dollar store for a, for a dollar, a five foot strand. Just cut them, hot glue the stems together. I do want to say this about the hot glue. Um, 
don't want to leave it on there too long. You want to kind of like, I use a clothespin at the base to hold it together, and then that way I don't have to hold it, and then just kind of like hold the top, and then I hot glue the center so that it doesn't move, because if you leave the hot glue gun, a, 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 you know, a good, you know, more than a second or two on there, the stems will begin to warp and melt, and um, they'll just kind of like droop down. So don't take too long. Um, and so this is the way the enclosure looks after I put the plant and the hide in there. Uh, I just think it looks neat. It looks better than a plain critter keeper. Um, and I did want to mention that when I was putting, this is a Panama Red Rum, so it's a kind of skittish uh, tea. It, if you open up the lid, it's going to try to bolt out. It's already done that to me once. Had to work her back in there very carefully. But um, anytime I open these containers, especially with um, teas that are like that, that are very skittish, I usually like to do it on the ground. That way, if they do bolt out, you can just collect them, but uh, you don't have to worry about them falling down. So what I did was basically took a deli cup, opened the lid, and just very slowly put this over her. Left her underneath there while I put the little hide and the plant in there. And then when I was done, I just lifted the deli cup and um, closed the lid. That way she doesn't get bothered and I don't have to worry about her jumping out. Um, and so it was a good method of doing it. Alright, well I hope this helps someone to just decorate your critter keeper. And y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.